Okay, so now we're continuing to investigate and play with some of the more interesting debugging features in Admiral Studio 7. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the project from where we left off and we're going to revert back to polled mode. We don't need interrupts in this particular hands-on. And we are going to add some logic to the switch get state. We're going to call it states get logic and we're going to add a previous state and an edge count as well. In the process of doing this, we're going to show you the watch window, how to view and modify variables. We're going to look at conditional breakpoints. And then also what we're going to do with action breakpoints is we're going to try and log the various state variables to an output window. So first thing to do is we are going to remove the interrupts. So the logic comes back into the while loop and we don't need the ISR anymore. Next, we're going to modify the get state to a urin date, and we're going to call it get states logic. So we need a couple more variables here. So we've added a previous state variable and an edge count, both urin statics. Now what we were returning is basically our current state. So as we read the current state, we can then check if we need to increment an edge count or not. Now we need to just keep track of the previous state. I'm just going to rename this to be previous. So just adding a logical constraint. Let's now debug and check the behavior. Just disabling breakpoints and running. So I can see a fairly irregular pattern here. I set a breakpoint and the program breaks. I can now hover over the edge count and see that the value is 47. I right click and can add to watch. And here I can see the edge count, the name of a variable, uh, the value, and also the type of the data. Now here I can double click and actually change the value. So if I set this to 3, firstly I can see that the current state is 0. So 0 or 3 mod 3 is 0. The not of 0 is 1. So this will give a value of 1. So as I run now and disable this breakpoint and run, uh, the LED would stay on. And it does. So now add some conditions to the breakpoint here. And we're going to right click add conditions. What we want to do is check if the edge count is a multiple of 5 and if the current state. So the current state will be pressed and that will give a positive output there. Enter to accept this. I can now test how this works. So running And I can see the edge count value is 10 as it breaks. That's 20 the next time it breaks. And one more time. Just confirming I'm pushing down as it breaks on 30. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to set an action breakpoint here previous state is current state and here we set an action and the action that we want we want to log an, a message to the output window so previous state current state and edge count and if we hit enter and then find the output window and you can see that we continuously get updates of these variables um, however, we can see it's streaming a bit fast, so let's rather, instead of there, only set a breakpoint where we actually increment the edge count.
and now you can see that every time I push the LED in I get two edge count increments and so I have demonstrated the use of both um, conditional and action breakpoints.